Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Uh, in this video I'm just going to briefly cover my um, kid sculpting exercise with the object of the exercise was the Magus Easy Chair designed by Jersey Seymour. So this was another um, another project that I completed in the lockdown um, along with three other chairs allowed about a week a week for each model, um, modelled in Rhino, um, yeah, so basically what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just go back and roll through some layers and just sort of go over how I approach this, um, this project. Unfortunately I didn't have anything to do with modelling the actual chair that was released in, uh, when was it, 2002? Um, this was merely an exercise um, to improve my modelling skills in Rhino. So I started with um, some imported geometry which I found online and some 2D geometry and photo uh, references and from those I've generated my own um, sort of main reference curves as you can see here. So these curves, I've been trying to keep them fairly clean, as you can see. And then from those curves, created the main tub, tub surface, the main seat surface, four-sided surface made with edge surf, which is um, single span. As you can see there, the, the CV counts and the degree. And then I've um, started manipulating those points manually. Various iterations of the tub surface. So I got something I was happy with. So if I mirror that over and A zebra analysis. Really good flow on that. Um, again, you could book, I could have made this out of several smaller patches, but I found it easier to make um, a larger patch. Okay, and then trim it back to give us the, um, the outer perimeter of the chair. And I've started trimming back. The area for the uh, for the arm and for the blend in for the leg on the rear. Start modelling the rear. There'll be some iterations here. I'll try different patch layouts. Maybe try some sweeps there to make the surface uh, edge surf. Using match surf. To um, get the conti continuity matching across the surfaces. Okay, onto the front leg. So again, the main tub surface, with the underlying CVs you can see there. That's trim back, another trim. For the front, front leg blend. This area was a bit trickier than the rear, because you had to have the waterfall edge on the front run down and blend into the leg. This looked all very simple in my um, initial sketches I did to, to plan my patch layouts, but uh, it's amazing how things evolve once you actually start modelling it. It's quite a bit more complicated in here than I'd imagined. Trying some different patch layouts. Okay, so that's the final patch layout. Now to thicken the seat and add, add the variable um, width edge on the arm, runs around the back. I created two, two versions, one with a lip and one with no lip. Um, it's the 
final version mirrored across with the lip on the top. Easier to see it. Yeah, so you can see the lip. Roll back to this version here and run a zebra analysis. Quite a bit going on. Um, generally flows pretty well. If I did it again, spent more time, I can improve the flow through here, but I did learn quite a bit. So that was good because that was the point of my exercise in doing this. Okay. So once I did that, took it over, did some renderings. And again, like the other tier renderings, used the, um, the production colours. This looks a bit fluoro on the screen, but this is that. Generally happy with the project. Um, hope you enjoyed watching this. Thanks very much, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio.